Lieutenant Colonel Joel Johnston here. We're in Normandy, France on Point du Hoc. On June 6, 1944, the U.S. 2nd Ranger Battalion scaled these 250-foot cliffs in order to take out the artillery positions and the fire control center. This prominent terrain feature allowed the six 155mm guns to cover both Utah and Omaha Beach. The Rangers, uh, Ranger Battalion consisted of Dog, Easy, and Fox Company, and they were led up the cliffs by their battalion commander, Lieutenant Colonel James Earl Rutter, who was class of 1932 from Texas A&M. This was actually his command bunker once they got up the cliffs. So please join me as we explore Point Du Hoc. As you can see, Point Du Hoc is centrally located between Omaha and Utah Beach. The range of the German guns was 25 kilometers, so both beaches were well within striking distance. The plan was to lift naval gunfire at 0630, upon at which time two companies would attack from the east and one from the west. At 0700, they were to shoot up a flare, indicating whether or not the rest of the battalion and the 5th Ranger Battalion should land as reinforcements. Otherwise, they would land at Omaha. Unfortunately, there was a navigational error, and the Rangers had been heading for another point, which was about three miles to the east of Point Du Hoc. When they realized this, they were about 500 yards off the coast, and they took a sharp right turn. This caused all three companies to be forced to land on the eastern side of Point Du Hoc, and also it was too late for them to call for the reinforcements. Earl Rudder was on his own. The first thing you notice about Point Du Hoc is that it looks like a lunar landscape. First, it was bombed by the Air Force, and then at dawn, the U.S. battleship Texas opened up with its 14-inch guns. Altogether, 10 kilotons of explosives were expended on Point Du Hoc. This is the equivalent of the nuclear bomb dropped on Hiroshima. At the point is the observation bunker and the Ranger Memorial. From here, they could see both the approaches for Utah and Omaha Beach. A few years ago, the French became concerned that the bunker was in peril of falling into the ocean from erosion. They have since reinforced the sides of the cliff. It's locked up. You can't go inside. But if you look through the bars, you can see the shrapnel splash from a U.S. hand grenade. It was from this observation slit that the Germans had full view of all three Ranger companies landing and scaling the cliffs. This is the beach where the rangers landed. They had 20 landing craft and they also had ducks that were equipped with fire ladders. However, the ducks could not get close enough to the cliff due to the shell holes. So the rangers fired grappling hooks up and scaled the cliff. This German anti-aircraft bunker was the first one taken by the rangers at the top of the cliff. They then used it as their headquarters, their battalion aid station, and the morgue. This famous wartime photograph shows the same anti-aircraft bunker from the seaside view. There's a vast array of bunkers in various states of destruction, including anti-aircraft bunkers, barracks, ammunition storage, a hospital bunker, the observation post, and various machine gun positions. This is actually a gun emplacement where there's a center pin which allowed the artillery piece to pivot. And here's a wartime photograph of a 155 in a similar emplacement. This is one of the fortified positions for the 155 known as a casemate. They fired through the front and the ammunition was stored in the rear. On D-Day, they were all empty and they had black telephone poles sticking out to fool the allies that the guns were in place. This is one of the actual guns used by the Germans on Point du Hoc. It's French and it was made in 1917 and it's 155 millimeter. Eventually, two of the Rangers spotted the six guns in the field behind me. Inexplicably, the Germans were conducting a formation and the Rangers snuck up and disabled all six guns with thermite grenades in their traversing mechanisms. This is Lieutenant Colonel Joel Johnston. I thank you for joining us on this tour. Hope to see you next time.